right, so this look, we're moving into a little bit more of a blues kind of thing, where what we're doing is moving up to the 10th fret here. This would be the second position, if you know what those are. And I'm just bending this up. And then I'm playing this uh, pull off to the eight. And then going down to the uh, root here, which is the 10th fret of the second string. So you'll notice again, I'm bending it up, bringing it back down, doing a pull off, which we've done a couple of times. And then I'm going back to the eight and ending on that little blues bend, which we had done earlier. So if you listen to the rhythm, da 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 Adding a little vibrato there. And then ending with that tag. Again, playing that eighth fret, and then when I'm ready to leave, I give it a little bit of a blues bump. Now you could make that, for instance, that A a lot longer. You could go. And then, you know, drop that whenever you wanted to. You could do something like that. Oftentimes what I like to do with stuff like this too is I add in what's called a rake. And what I'm doing there is I'm just deadening the strings, not palm muting, but literally deadening the strings. And I'm just doing that, that noisy sound before I hit the bend. And you're getting this kind of percussive sound. We call that a rake. Now I'm not raking anything in particular, I'm just hitting the strings open. You don't have to do that, but it's kind of a cool little thing you can add on to the front of that.